What's good, YouTube? We're back again with another video. And today's video, we have for you a Rui Hachimura. I believe that's how you say his name. My bad if I butchered it. But you have the Jordan 36 Rui Hachimura PE. All right, definitely a dope PE. And what they did with the box is just super sick, super crazy. As you can see here, they have really dope artwork. Roy does play for the Washington Wizards, and he has an African and Asian background. I believe his mom is from Japan. Don't quote me, she could either be Japanese or Chinese, but he has a mixed culture background, which is super dope. And of course, him being a Jordan Brand athlete, they decided to tap into that culture that he has. And he has a couple of PEs. I know he's had a Jordan 34 PE. He has a Jordan 35 PE, which I have on the way because it actually restocked last week. And then this is his Jordan 36 PE. He also had a Jordan 8 PE that released with the Jordan 36. But honestly, I like the Jordan 36 just a little bit more. So with that being said, let's take a look at this box, man. Crazy dope detail. Again, he plays for the Washington Wizards. Honestly, I really don't know how he is as a player. I'll be 100% real with you. He could be potentially an all-star player. I know he hasn't made any all-star appearances yet. Maybe he's teetering that all-star appearance. But he has some really sick Jordan PEs that I will say are really, really nice. So again, let's take a look at this box. Crazy box. You see him rocking the Jordan 36s. This is dope. Size label. Air Jordan 36. Roy. Size 10, of course, my size. Definitely going to be rocking this for sure. And as you can see here, you have like a little ninja dude. <laughs> I know I'm totally butchering everything. But a little warrior guy right there with the Jumpman symbol. Jordan 36 is on feet. This is dope. Definitely dope. All right. So, of course, with the Jordan 36, we have the Velcro box. So, we're going to open this one up. And on the wrapping paper, you have the Jordan Jumpman logo. You have Nike Air. And then you have his H logo, which is... His initial for his last name, Hachimura. As we open it up, whew, this one is no joke. I really, really like this one. So, for this particular sneaker, they went with like a nice, beautiful, like tan color. So we're going to take a look at actually this pair first because it has his initial on it. This one has the Jumpman. And as we take a look at this, let me just tie this up real quick so you guys can see. And the laces aren't in the way. I'm actually wearing another Jordan 36. They're so comfortable, man. They're like comfortable to walk in. They're great to play basketball in. So this is the Jordan 36 Roy Hachimura. Now, we have your Lino Weave on this. And just something to point out, not every Jordan comes with a Lino Weave upper. So, for example, I have these Jordan 36s on real quick. These are like the Flights or whatever this is called. And it's a dope print on the upper, but this is actually like a mesh material. This isn't the weave that we get on this one. So... Just be mindful, if you're going to use this for a performance, I probably stay away from this one a little bit more because the Lino Weave is really the, I guess you could say the superior or the material that Jordan Brand's actually pushing forward. And this is just your regular mesh material, but they were able to put a print on it and just put it on the Jordan 36. Everything else is the same. So I just wanted to point that out real quick, right? But let's get back to this guy. So you have your Lino Weave upper, you have cracked almost like a cracked leather, but this is not leather. So a cracked phylon, I guess this is. And then you have a little bit of suede on the toe. You see a Lino weave right here. Then you have your cracked leather around the tongue. Hints of red on the laces. Hachimura sign. It's actually an H with a sword through it. How dope is that? 
And I believe, from what I understand, his mom made the emblem. On the tongue, you have a pattern as well. I love the deep red midsole design going around. Really nice contrast with this brownish, tannish upper. On the back, you have his logo again. You have the pull tab, the rings. They actually made this crack Phylon a little glossy, and it's actually a pretty nice touch. As you can see, the cracked leather on the upper part of where the ankles are. You take a look at the bottoms. Has a nice, beautiful design. It's actually a translucent bottom, but underneath you see the design. Red Jumpman. This is dope. This is definitely dope. You have your black plate. Six shoe. On this one, nothing on the aglets. And on the footbed, you have a little design as well. These are sick. These are definitely sick. These are super dope, man. And then on the other shoe, it's pretty much the same exact thing, except you do have the Jumpman logo on the front. The insoles are the same. So definitely a nice PE. Now I have reviewed the Luca PE. I reviewed the Taco J PE, the Jason Tatum PE. And the one thing I will say for whatever reason is they didn't put the Luca Doncic signature initials on his pe but on this one as you can see we have his signature initial don't know why don't know the reasoning behind it but i just find it a little interesting they didn't take the opportunity to put luka Doncic initials on the jordan 36 but this is a good one man this is a good one the box is fire the jordan 36 is fire so official images just came out of the jordan 37 and I like some of the things that they're doing with the Jordan 37. The fact that they're keeping the full length zoom strobe and then adding the four foot zoom unit is going to be super dope. I'm also interested to see how they do the Formula 23 foam. Apparently it's supposed to be super responsive and super lightweight. And in fact, that's actually the only foam that they use or cushioning in the Luka Doncic Luka 1. So I'm very excited to see how that Formula 23 cushion is. What I will say is on this particular shoe, there are times where it feels like there's not a lot of reinforcement when you're pushing laterally. So not that you're gonna roll over, but it feels like you're pushing the Lino weed to its limit. So I see the additional straps on the side of the 37. I'm wondering if that was put there to have a little bit more lateral containment. So if that shoe plays like this, and gives you a little bit more lateral containment, it's gonna be probably the best shoe on the market. So can't wait to see the Jordan 37. I do think for now, the Jordan 36 is nicer looking aesthetically, but I wanna wait until I get a Jordan 37 in hand to really make that opinion. There's that, all right? Again, this is the Roy Hachimura Jordan 36 PE. I think this is a really dope, dope sneaker. Again, I'm a huge fan of the Jordan 36s, so. I'm super glad to have these in hand, all right? On that note, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We out. Peace.